It is really nice to see another release of a fully open multimodal large language model with Vision. It has got a good license, training code, pre-training data, everything is there for Lava 1 Vision model. Even before I show you how to get it installed and play around with this model, I want to give you a bit of a history orientation. The Lava, which stands for Large Language and Vision Assistant, series began as an ambitious attempt to bridge the gap between visual and linguistic intelligence. This was to make AI not just read and write, but also see and understand. Early versions of Lava combined large language models like Llama or Vicuna with visual encoders such as Clip that allowed them to process images and text together. These early models demonstrated surprising capabilities. They could describe complex scenes, answer questions about pictures, and even reason about diagrams. What made Lava particularly exciting was its open source nature. Unlike many proprietary multimodal systems, this invited the global research community to study, improve, and expand upon its foundations. Over time, the Lava line evolved rapidly and we have covered it a lot on the channel in the last three or so years. These Lava models emphasize transparency, reproducibility, and accessibility and training methods rather than closed high-cost AI development and you can see I have really gone crazy with their coverage in the last three years. There are heaps of them, so do check them out. You won't be disappointed. In this video, we are going to install this Lava 1 vision model in 4 billion. It also comes in 8 billion. So let's get started. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. If you are looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on a very, very affordable price, you can find their link in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Our virtual environment is being created. And now let's install these prerequisites which are Torch, Torch, Vision and Coin Wheel Utils. And while it gets installed, let me give you a quick intro to our sponsors who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce and you will find the link in video's description. Let's talk a bit more about this Lava Vision, Lava 1 Vision model. So it represents the culmination of the same Lava philosophy, I believe. It's a fully open multimodal model family that pushes performance boundaries while keeping cost dramatically low. This was trained on native resolution images for richer visual understanding, and it has already surpassed many leading alternatives like Quen 2.5 VL on multimodal benchmarks, and that info is in Hugging Face model card. You will find the link in video's description. But beyond just performance, it also democratizes multimodal AI. The team behind it has released not only the model weights, but also the entire training recipe from data curation and instruction tuning to logs and configuration files. This is built on an optimized Megatron LM framework, supporting advanced features like floating point 8 precision, mixture of experts, and even long sequence parallelism. This new model, uh, result with only about $16,000 in A100 GPU training cost. That's it. So it took around 16K US dollar just for training. So not it, it is not just a model, it's a movement to, uh, towards open, efficient and transparent AI research that anyone can build. So let's wait for everything to get installed and we will see the performance. Everything is installed. Let me now launch my Jupyter notebook. And now let's download the model. And the model is being downloaded. There are two shards of it. Okay, so the model is loaded. Let's do the inference. And all I'm going to do here, I'm just going to give it this image with multiple languages in it. And I will also show you. And all I'm asking it to do is to extract the text and identify the languages. 
and it has returned with this response you can see that the OCR completely failed and it also couldn't even identify the languages and Lava models are not really good for OCR so I'm not going to do the much OCR there the best use case I have found in my testing so far in the last few years is that if you have VQA or visual question answering where you give it an image and just ask any question it works quite good so that is what I'm going to test out any other vision task lava models i don't think so are the answer and besides the industry has really evolved a lot we have specific ocr models so just select the model as per your own use case but let's now test it out on some of the vqa tasks okay next up i'm going to give it this image of a bottle which has some soda left in it and let's and i'm asking it that is the bottle half empty or half full let's see what model comes up with and the model says about that bottle definitely looks more half empty than half full there is just a shallow pool of cola left at the bottom with the clear plastic showing well above it so it has done pretty well you see the vqa is quite good and as the model is fully loaded onto the gpu let's check the vram consumption so VRAM consumption is under 8 gig of VRAM. Next up, I'm going to ask you to describe an image. So this image is uh, of a market and I already have run it. So it says this is a vibrant high angle photograph of a bustling market street in coastal town, likely in Europe. How good is that? How it detected the European look, maybe through architecture or through, you know, the setup. I believe and then it is talking about the paved street flanked by two rows of traditional colorful buildings with terracotta colored facades and the, so it is talking about architecture and Mediterranean very nice and they're all like AI generated by the way and then it is you know because I have just uh, max tokens are there so it looks really good you see VQA as I mentioned earlier looks pretty good and now I am giving it another image and so this is again uh, AI generated image and I'm asking it which movie comes to mind after looking at this image and it says Pulp Fiction so which is pretty good so you see as long as um, you do the pulp uh, by the way it has also done some OCR pretty nicely anyway but that's a bonus so look I'm very very glad to see that not only the community is thriving in terms of open modality open source and of course you can fine tune it you can do a lot of things they also have an, you know these lava has a github repo you can get a lot of support a lot of scripts from there check it out let me know what you think please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support